Now moving on to the next question that is pituitary tumors caused by temporal hemianopia. So for that pituitary is almost situated here at the optic chiasma and when the pituitary tumors they enlarge they compress the optic chiasma here and they cause a compression actually here in the middle of the optic chiasma. So what happens? So if we consider it this as the optic nerve, there are the temporal fibers as well as the nasal fibers. Temporal fibers means the fibers pass coming from the temporal part of the retina and nasal fibers means the fibers coming from the nasal part of the retina. And these temporal fibers are moving onto the optic tract without a crossover but the nasal fibers they have a crossover here. So that is if we take this as the right eye and the left eye the temporal fibers of the right eye goes like this but the nasal fibers of the right eye then cross to the opposite side and goes like this. So and one important thing is that the temporal fibers are concerned with the nasal field of vision and the nasal fibers are concerned with the temporal field of vision. So when we have the pituitary tumors compressing here that is mainly the nasal fibers both the nasal fibers are getting affected. So you have a loss of vision on the right as well as the left of the temporal field of vision because the nasal fibers are getting affected. So on both right eye and left eye you have a loss of temporal field of vision and that's what we called as um, bitemporal hemianopia and if you have a lesion here that is in the optic tract then what happens is if suppose we have a lesion on the left optic tract then the fibers affected are the temporal fibers of the left eye left eye temporal fibers and right eyes nasal fibers because there is a crossover so the field of vision that is lost is the nasal field of vision of the left eye that is this part will be lost and the, on the right eye, since the nasal fibers are getting affected, the temporal field of vision of the right eye will be lost. So when you have a lesion here in the left optic tract, you have a loss of vision on the right half of each eye. So that is you get a right homonymous hemianopia.